Hi, this is Daniel Zona. I'm wanting to talk about um, a few things I'll thought about um, the disclosure project with Korea. Certain things I want to go through and uh, certain things I agree with, with my consciousness, and then there's certain things that I conscientiously object in connection with the monetary system. I'll go through them. As you know, I've actually, you know, subscribed with uh, Stephen Greer, what he gets for the updates and all that. Now, um, he's quite interesting things here, and um, very much some of them, which the kind of experience I've um, re experienced um, since the time uh, from last year with G4S, um, but um, exposing, um, um, you know, this this particular this image, um, and um, seriously, uh, it's you know what it says, um, what floods the mainstream media and rock in England, and what doesn't really get um, projected in the mainstream media. Is um, this um, um, reverse engineered vehicle? And as you can see over there, there's some like um, trucks and things like that. And there's actually like a, um, a barricade or a um, checkpoint for if anybody wants to go there. And that, um, it's probably just something in the screen there. Um, and then uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty big actually when you think about it. Um, so what actually what I'm going to mention is um, um, the the Soros project, right? Um, now you know I won't be going to this event, but um, say if I did, what would actually happen if I pushed up to this event? And I did not have sixteen pounds on me. I did not have any sixteen pounds. What will they do with me? I don't know. But it'll be interesting to find out um, if I did. Um, it is something I work would, would, um, would like to um, experiment and see what actually happens. But um, that's kind of like the machine, mischievous side of me. The reason is because I do not support the monetary system, um, and the, it's actually the money disease that's, that it's causing a lot of problems on this planet, and um, somehow it's restraining the disclosure project and uh, other other things. Um, okay, first of all, um, I'm going to go through. Okay, you've got ebooks and all that. Um, Actually, uh, much of this data is covered in rail central meditation. It's very similar techniques. Um, um, it's actually when you think about it, um, the central meditation book that um, uh, they don't mention it. Actually, um, um, what you say. Um, Provides access for, um, you know, um, what do you call it, um, contact, but, um, but the actual techniques do actually get it working. Um, it's all about, central meditation is all about activating the senses to actually um, awaken your sixth sense. And once your sixth sense is awakened, you just can about, can about do anything with telepathy. Um, in a sense, um, and it basically just gives you um, sort of um, yeah, the, it's basically this book over here. You know. And the thing is, some people can actually do it pretty naturally without any books. So going to the next thing. Um, okay, the donate thing, right? Now, there's much, much, there's much good that comes out of this, this uh, project. 
However, um, I'll just go through it quickly. It is so it's front to organize the training to tra transform the current energy environment and social crisis into a society uh, of light and abundance, which is very uh, more aligned leading towards paradism. Um, let's go to paradism. Paradism, paradism, paradism. I don't know why it's Google's like not really showing it up. Um, sucks. Paradism. That is that is a bit of a conspiracy actually. Um, there we go. Paradism. There we go. World without work money. Um, highly recommended website. Um, so it more or less um, kind of like um, coexists with this ideas. A technical progress in advanced areas of physics, electromagnetics, and uh, systems. But um, this also sort of focuses on robotics um, to eliminate work completely, so the, rob the robots will be able to achieve constructing these things. Um, finally, a bond concept or energy generators have either been ignored or excessively suppressed due to the power of fossil fuels and economic based interests. Yes. Um, I kind of actually highlight that one to the power of fossil fuels and economic based interests, uh, which I'm going to discuss a bit later. Imagine a world uh, where Every home, village, in the uh, two source of electricity works with fossil fuels. Yes. Um, every means of transportation. Uh, yes. Imagine all the advancement of technologies and the problems. Right. Yes. Um, imagine the intertransport. You know, basically, um, with any gravity, you would wouldn't need um, roads and things. Um, imagine clean low cost energy. Kind of, I kind of agree with that. Imagine you can make this happen. The thing is, I would like to make this happen, but not with my pocket. Um, but with my brain. Now, how would you actually get involved in this project and donate ideas and things? Um, because I've got quite a few ideas in my head which I'd like to share um, without getting scrutinized, criticized and all that. Um, there was quite something, there was something that was display with um, renewable energies. Um, they had like things like the, 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 at the beach in Sunderland, um, something pods. Um, it's not these things. Pod Sunderland Beach. I don't know why the search isn't giving me exactly what I want. There, there we go. Um, okay, it's kind of like really, really. You know, one thing I don't like about Facebook stuff that's you know get old. Okay, this was the pod that I had seen. Um those are solar panels and um and, and I had a wind generator on it as well. And um I suggested um I asked if they had a dynamo that was constructed with six magnets, um arranged in a um hexagram fashion. Was a repulsion and attractive uh, um, repulsion, uh, so that when so that when the magnets turn, that they keep on turning even when there's no wind. Um, so I have to try to suggest this idea. Unfortunately, they didn't have the experts of this thing, and so my idea never got involved. So I'm wanting to give ideas for this. Um, <clears throat> I can't because I basically, um, out of con I consci conscientiously object 
to um, giving out money. First of all, I, I live on benefits, and secondly, um, I wanting I'm working while well, I want this, uh, a parallelism society that's without money um, to be implemented, and and I would like to, you know this technology to come out. <clears throat> but I will not support with my pocket. Um, you see, I want to donate, but I want to donate an idea. I want ideas, ideas. Um, I'm actually going to run an email to this thing. Hello, I, I conscious, conscious. Conscientiously object to the monetary system and money and support support paradigm. Oh, I have spelled. What the fuck is wrong with me? Paradigm. Oh, spelling is terrible. I think I'm tired. Paradism, um, I would like to donate. Oh, I thought I was too John Smith. It's actually me. I'll give him my email and I'll read that one. Um I'd like to donate chug ideas and perhaps artwork. Um That I do not like using or supporting the money system. System that is destroyed. Dot com. I have been rejected by numerous groups because of this. From I would, I have. Some ideas in would interested. Okay. So basically, I'm going to send that off. That message sent. And we'll see what happens out of this outcome because I'm so sick and tired of confronting websites and always asking for money, 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 money. And I just don't have it. And I've got many ideas and creativity. and things like that to contribute and um, if they refuse it it's just a waste um, you know it's just a waste anyway I think I'll be jumping yeah and much love and much.